as I removed the SIM tray, I was pleasantly surprised to see that there is not a micro SD card slot in here with my SIM port. Houston, we have a problem. So at this point, I have had my Samsung Galaxy Galaxy S20 5G UW for about 12 hours. One of the reasons that I needed the phone, of course, was because the pixel that I'm recording on here has an issue with the charging port after I dropped it in the lake, so I can only wirelessly charge. But one of the main reasons that I was really excited for this phone was due to the fact that I do YouTube, I record a lot of videos. I feel like I'm like crooked on this somehow. I don't. I do YouTube videos, so I wanted to be able to record a lot, and wanting to be able to record a lot, expandable storage, and wanting to be able to record a lot, expandable storage is very helpful. So, when the guy at the Verizon store told me that this phone, the S S twenty five G U W, was the exact same phone as the S twenty, but just with a different antenna, I said, "Well, perfect. I'll wait two days and get the phone." Went to the store today. I grabbed a 128 gigabyte SD card to put into my S25 G UW. Then uh, when I returned home, to my pleasant surprise, I took my very nice, very beautiful, still has the little screen protector on it. Can you see that there? See it? Took the included pin and popped out the SIM tray. As I removed the SIM tray, I was pleasantly surprised to see that there is not a micro SD card slot in here with my SIM port. So the first thing I did is I freaked out. I looked around the phone. I'm like, okay, maybe there's an, you know, another port here. No. So then I went online and I said, well, let me uh, look this up real quick. Let me see because they were telling me it's the same phone and the other S20s, even the regular S20, has a micro SD card slot. So, I went on a very nice website here, which is called GSM Arena, and uh, decided to compare all three of the phones side by side. So, the Samsung Galaxy S20, the Samsung Galaxy S20 5G, and then the one that I just purchased, the Samsung Galaxy S20 5G UW. With the networks, they're all the same, except for the 5G on both of these. The release dates, these came out in February, this one just released. The dimensions are all identical. The For some reason this phone weighs more at 168 grams. I don't know how. Same glass front and then just pre-installed nano SIM compared to single SIM or hybrid dual SIM and uh, single SIM, hybrid dual SIM. Now there's more though. As you get down here you look at the screens all the same across the board uh, for whatever reason the uh, screen ratios are different I don't know how pixel densities are also different don't know how I mean that's better but that's worse don't really understand that HDR plus though Gorilla Glass all etc 120 Hertz QHD all etc all the same and then same GPUs the same Snapdragon, but here you can see card slot, micro SD shares use, uses shared SIM slot, micro SD, and then no. 8 gigs of RAM on this one compared to 12 on the 5G, and then only 8 on the regular. So they did up it here, and then they dropped it here again. Cameras are all exactly the same, as you can see across the board, same stereo, gyros, all, all the same phone uh, even down to here all the same the only difference is the fact that there's only 8 gigs of RAM and there is no SD card slot that is a bummer so now I'm a little torn uh, I'm already having my issues with the phone considering the fact that there's a ton of Samsung apps that I can't remove, forgot about the joys of that, as well as all the games that I had to uninstall, just all the bloatware, and then I just don't like the way it works the same. I'm, I'm trying, so on my first review, 
this little fingerprint reader is very very slow let's see it got me in let me lock it see to me that's I don't know compared to my pixel that's that's really slow but I'm trying to make it as close to my pixel as possible but after the phone surprisingly not having the SD card slot um, the memory I, I don't really care about so much I thought it would be the same um, but it's not um, but mainly the SD card slot is something I was really looking forward to that is missing from the phone that I don't think a lot of people are gonna realize when they go to buy this phone so major alert there's no micro SD card reader in the Ga Galaxy S20 5G UW and it also only has the 8 gigs of RAM like the original S20 I think that will do it for this video though I wasn't really gonna upload back to back like this but uh, I noticed this and just had to get it out so um, yeah I will see you all in the next one click that like button for me if you can and click subscribe down in the corner see you next time deuces